Hello fellow artists, Mr. Hendrick here with the final lesson in this bubble and block lettering unit. In this unit we would incorporate a lot of different ideas and techniques from the previous lessons. Um, from the first lesson where we just kind of used basic print and outlined it in order to create some really cool letters all the way through to the one point perspective practice assignment that we watched just earlier. Um, in this unit We'll need a, uh, in this lesson rather, we'll need a couple of different things. Obviously, we'll need our pencils, right? Um, if you want, you can use a marker or a Sharpie to sort of outline your letters. Um, and I'll be showing you how to use uh, watercolor uh, quickly to apply color. Now, if you don't want to use watercolor, feel free to use any other material that you'd like. If you want to leave it black and white, that is great too. Maybe you want to add some shading like we did in our basic 3D lesson from earlier. So, without further ado, let me show you how I made this. Wait, one more thing. Uh, you definitely, definitely need your ruler. Okay, let's start. The first step is to draw your horizon line and add the vanishing point in the middle, just like I'm doing here. After that, just like the first video, you're going to draw out the letters that you want to create into bubble letters. All right. Next, I'm going to outline my, my words one letter at a time, being sure to also do the inside. Next, going to erase my pencil lines. Next, I'm going to use my ruler and my pencil, and I'm going to line up the different corners of each letter to the vanishing point. All right. And if you have curves, we actually want to try to find where the curve would start. So for the B, it'd be right about here. And since I know I'm going to erase it later, I'm actually not going to draw any more than that because I know it's going to be blocked by the L. Um, you also want to look at the inside of each letter. That is my dog barking. She might do it again. <laughs> we'll fix that in post. And you see here, I'm going to the top of this curved part of the B and I'm stopping it right there. Now I'm gonna do the, the lines for the whole entire word and I'm gonna come back and fix it uh, up and finish off each shape. So next I'm going to the L and again, just like with the cubes, if you're gonna draw through your word or letter, you don't wanna draw that line. So I'm not gonna do this top corner here. Next, I'll have this, stop it there. This one like this, and so on, and so forth. Notice with the O, I'm just kind of getting to the edges of the letter. Same thing with this letter C here. I'll start at the top. All right, I'll bring this over to here, and I'll do one on the inside. those are all the lines that I could draw without drawing through my object. Now, just like the simple 3D letters, we just kind of looked at the shape 
of the um, section and just kind of copy that. We'll do something similar here. So if I were to start with the B, depending on how long you want it to be, that is up to you. Um, but I'm gonna go up and be like an inch over or so and try to copy this curve as best as possible. So I'll copy this curve like this, up and around. All right, and I'll do the same thing for the bottom. So the bottom, again, I'm gonna bring it out an inch or so, to curve it up and over and it just touches the L and then comes back around. All right, now, I also have to look at the inside of this letter too, because I wanna go an inch over from here and to line down, and I wanna to try to match this curve over here, just a little bit of a curve. Same thing again, up, match this curve. All right, so those are all the lines I need for the letter B. Now, I uh, will erase the excess, which would be this. And this. I will do that for each one and then I will go over it in Sharpie. Okay, so my top line is complete. Now I'm gonna work on the bottom line using the same premise of connecting each corner or section of a letter to the vanishing point without drawing through a letter. So like, for example, this corner right here, I will not draw the line because I'm not gonna cut through my letter L. All right, so I'm gonna do each one of these um, fully and then I'll come back and do exactly what I did on the top line. All right, so those are all the lines that go to the vanishing point. Now I'm gonna come through just like up at the top and uh, sort of cut off each letter where I think it should be.
All right, there you have it. Here are our letters using one point perspective to give it a sense of depth and uh, three dimensionality, if that's a word. Um, the last part I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply some color. Now, in previous videos, I showed you a little bit about color pencils or crayons or markers, um, shading with just a regular pencil. I'm just gonna give you guys uh, all the options here. This last, uh, this, this last assignment in the lettering unit, um, I'm going to be using watercolor. So for this, almost like a wash, I'm gonna need a cup of water. I'm going to need a paper towel for blotting or just to kind of clean off my brush and obviously a brush, and of course, the paints. Um, so I'm gonna be using similar ideas from some of the other lessons. So the idea that uh, I wanna have, you know, one color for the, the, the face of the letter, and then something a little bit darker for underneath and on the sides, and something lighter for the top. Um, so without further ado, let's begin. So if I start with the blue, oops, let me slide out of the way a little bit. All right, so. Watercolor is sometimes a fickle medium. You have to work sort of fast. Um, it's fluid. You gotta keep using water to sort of spread it around. And the more water you have, the lighter the color will look. Now I'm gonna go with something a little bit darker for the sides and bottom. So I'm gonna grab a different color blue. Just kind of come in there. Just like so. I'll be going a little more in depth on watercolor in other units and other tutorials. For now, just practice, play around with it, see if it's to your liking. And always blot it with a paper towel if you need to. And always go back over it again if you need to. And there you have it. My first letter done. Now I need to clean up my brush, dry it off, and I'll continue on the other letters.
Well, there it is, the final lesson in this bubble and block lettering tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed all these videos, and I really hope that you're trying out some of these techniques. Um, now, whether you're using just pencil or, or marker and color pencil and crayons or watercolor or another medium entirely, um, I really think that knowing how to create letters, um, bubble letters and three-dimensional letters is a really important and fun way to make art. So please share your work with me. I cannot wait to see it. And if you have any questions, please reach out. That's it for this unit, and I cannot wait to show you guys some other fun and interesting art assignments over the course of these five weeks. All right, so this is Mr. Hendricks saying, happy art making, my friends. See you later.